if you look carefully over here, there's a bunny rabbit right in front of my car that's been hanging out looking for food. Hey, bunny. Hi, buds. No, oh, he wants to jump. <laughs> and he's gone. If you head in my backyard, there's a gate there. Yeah, you're going to get caught in the backyard. I wonder if he's one of these bunnies that's a, a pet, someone's pet. Oh, there's two of them. There's one there. You can see my shadow. And then there's one in the foreground. Hey, bunnies. <laughs> there they go. Hop it away. All right, this is going to be a strange morning because uh, apparently a few of my friends were out flying RC planes uh, yesterday and this morning and uh, their planes went down, crashed in the forest. So I got a notice to uh, come out and help search for them. So I'm going to take the DJI FPV drone and we'll go find the planes. You can see behind me, I don't know if it lights up, you can see I love RC planes. Look behind, they're all over the place in my garage. Uh, so, but today will be a search and rescue day and maybe I'll bring a plane to fly as well. So let's go to the field and see if we can find this thing. All right, toss you back there. So I'll grab a plane up here, take this one, T28. One thing great about owning a Jeep is you can put everything in the back if you have a pickup truck. And I'll bring a little plane. I like this one. The little timber is a lot of fun to fly. I'll bring that one. Put you over there. All right. Close this up. And we're ready to go. All right, at the field, let's go see what we have for action happening. There's a Sergio flying a plane over there. Jock, did you find it? Not yet. So, uh... Looking for uh, Andre's plane right now. Oh, are you? So where's Andre's plane? Over the cornfield. Does he have an idea? No, not much. Oh, that's not good. I'm trying to do a pattern on it. I'm uh, along the uh, the forest edge right now, getting near the end of the forest. So. And, and where did your plane land? Oh, mine is, uh, hang on a sec. <laughs> it's over that way. Oh, so, so you're that way in that little forest? And that way is green bushes with white flowers. And my plane is white with green on it, so... Should be easy to find, it's just it's like my helicopter. And it's this big. Yeah, I know. It's probably sitting with my helicopter. And Andre's plane is someplace there? It's in that corn field over there. And where's Andre? Andre, I think he's walking the field with his folks. Oh, yeah. All right, so uh, I'll put my uh, FPV drone up too and yep. help you out. Yep. So it's a search and rescue morning. All right, let's take all this out, get this set up really quick. Put a little landing pad down. Great thing about the DJI FPV drone is it uh, sets up really fast and it's ready to go in no time. So that's on. There we are. So mine's all ready to go. Push in the battery, pull off the front and put on the props. There we go. And then the next thing is just powered on. Let's see. And she'll power up, plop it down, make your funny sound and we're ready to fly. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fly in manual mode to take off so I can get over there super fast. If I can find the switch on here, M, she's in manual mode and manual mode is really fast. And then I'll switch into normal mode. So here we go. Tap, tap. And uh, let's go up. Super fast. We'll be over the field in seconds. And here's the cornfield here. So down here someplace would be Andre and his parents as well as a plane and the plane is green in color so I'm looking around here see if I can find Andre and his parents this is the fast way to search as soon as I find them then I have an indication of where their plane is I don't see anything I didn't see any humans down there way over here nothing 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 coming back again I'll follow this little strip here People are walking in. No, I'm gonna put in normal mode here and slow down. There we are. Now we're in GPS mode, normal. And I can take a look around with the camera if I wish. Look down. What do I see? This is an easier way to do it. I still don't see any humans down there. How tall is this corn? Come down lower to the cornfield here. We'll take a look. Looks like I could see spots where people walked, but that's about it. Okay, I think I'm searching in the wrong field here because I don't see any humans and I don't see any plane. So I think I'm going to head back and go get better directions. 
But normally, if anybody was flying a plane and crashed it, it would be someplace along here or into the woods right in front of me. Okay, let's come back, find out better directions. And coming down, look up at me. Andre and his parents are out searching for, but I just did a big uh, search and I didn't see anything. Like no, I didn't see parents. Search. No, we got to do a search, search for the parents. Yeah, we got to <laughs> search for the search for the family now. Andre lost his Viper this morning. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, you but looking for Jacques. Steve, Steve wasn't up on the newest shirt search. But the problem is, is that uh, Jacques told me that uh, Andre's parents are helping him look for it. Yeah, so I sure scanned right. the whole area. I saw no humans. They're out there. Which place? Wow. But they're not in the this one, field. The one that the, the, uh, the roll, the, uh, so he took off uh, this morning. So there's this cornfield right here that I was in. There's yeah. no humans in it. But I didn't go to these other cornfields no, over I, on the other I side. I don't know what cornfield there is. Yeah, so they're, they're probably in another one. All right, so I've had no luck finding any humans or a plane. So I'm going to wait until I see Andre and his parents come out and then ask them exactly where they believe the plane to be because I'm just searching forever back there and I can't find anything. So we'll get back to it. So Andre, I flew out twice looking for you guys. Yeah. Couldn't find you. I wanted to find you guys to look for your plane, but where were you? I was out, we were doing a grid. My dad's still out there. I just came in to see if you guys had any hits. No, nothing. So. No, if I did, then we would have, uh, I, know. Yeah. I don't know, buzzed you, but I didn't see you guys. So where do you think so, you are? Yeah. Andre actually has footage of the plane crash and shows it to me. Here it is. As the plane takes off, it immediately becomes unstable. The ailerons are doing something funky, as Andre says. He's trying to control it, trying to bring it back, but alas, it just tumbles out of the air into the cornfield. So you got the, the sparse tree, the sparse yeah. tree, so you got the one in the center. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, whoop. That's zoomed in. And so there's the jet. Oh, so it's right behind that tree. So that's okay. So that sparse, sparse, almost full tree right behind it. Yeah. But a way out there because that looks like it's. Well, it's hard to tell, right? We'll fly in normal mode, save the battery, motor starting, recording, and uh, here we go. Let's go over here to the right goalpost. It looks like he crashed this way. So from there on forward. So someplace out here. All right, let's go up. Oh, so I was probably in the wrong field. All right, so now I can see a human down there. Yeah. You can see how deep the corn is. I'm just gonna come down. I think that's Andre down there. Like, holy cow, I didn't think it was that deep. Oh, we'll never find a plane down there unless it's sitting on top. Yeah, so I got Andre down. Oh my God, I don't know. Uh, that's just incredible, okay. This could be one of these situations I get home, review the video and go, there it is. Everything is so green, it's like impossible to see. Oh well, I'm out of power, coming back. Uh, the battery's dead, so oh, she's yeah, coming back. Right. Oh, she's coming back, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna say, I don't see it. Why? Yeah. <laughs> it's coming back. I do have one more battery, but it's about 95% charged, so I'll wait. Maybe Andre's got a better idea. Come down, land on the landing pad or close to it. There we go. There we go. Let's go. It's so hot out here. I'm going to fly this little plane and just buzz myself right here. We're gone. I'll come back. Miss the boats. So this is what I do to take a break from drone flying. I fly RC planes and I love RC planes. Especially little ones like this, they're so much fun. Buzz them around. I'm walking here as I'm flying. There we go. I like to fly low to the ground. That probably comes from my drone uh, history. Because drones, you like to fly them, especially FPV drones, low to the ground. So I like to come down low and just hover and then bounce back up. Mayas 3X. Got it going nice and slow here. Just barely moving. Take the flaps off and we go. Flaps off. Take you. There's Sergio over there. He's got a similar type of plane he's putting down. All right, here we go. Take this one up. 
Hopefully my landing gear doesn't fall off because it's giving me troubles. There you go. Yellow planes look good in the sky and if you lose them, you can find them pretty easy. Coming down for landing. Ooh, a little bit of bounce, a little bit of bounce. And bring it over here, back to me. All right, let's take this plane back. Hey, that's the one with the sound effects, is it? Yeah, crank them on. I've got uh, a microphone live right now, so I'll hear them when you go. Oh yeah. All right. That's pretty cool. Well, you don't have machine guns on there too, do you? Not on this one. Not. Well, that's pretty cool. So Sergio, I think you should stick with planes. You seem better at them than with drones. I don't have any drones, I'm happy to say. <laughs> I know. All right. All right, enjoy your flight. So I was making a video of the search and I was hoping it was gonna end up that we found the plane, Jacques' mm -hmm. plane or your plane. It looked like you were in the right spot when I was flying over you. I have one I have one that's about 90% charged so I can go one more time. Yeah, I'm charging my, uh, my mini packs, right? Yeah. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go out with my remote. I found a nice little spot that has an opening and I'm just gonna wiggle. But I figure if it was still on, I would hear the ESC going beep, 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 right? Yeah. But it's the worst thing is, what's the bottom color of the plane? It's all green, white, and black. Because it was hard enough to si find you yeah. out there. Uh, like the the corn stalks are way too high. You know what? If I if I lose it, I'm I'm out of 4,500 success pack. No big deal. Yeah. But it's just the principle of trying to locate it. Well, I'll take what I got that battery. I'll take yeah. one more flight before I go home. All right, it's super hot out here, and uh, I'm gonna take one more try. I've got a battery left. I'll do one more run and check for Andre's plane. If we don't find anything, well, this video is going to end and just fade out as I'm searching. So uh, thanks for watching. As you can see here, flying over the corn stalks, trying to look down between them is rather difficult to find anything, especially an RC plane that's green and white and black in color. Unfortunately, during that search, I found nothing, but I did come back two days later and searched again. And guess what? I found nothing again. So uh, I saw Steve with his Viper plane and I thought I'd better chase it. Now the Viper jet that Steve is about to fly runs on a 6S battery. So that means it moves quite quickly. Now the DJI FPV drone I'm flying is no turtle and it can move quick as well as long as you fly in manual mode and have full control of the drone. So in this footage, Steve is flying at about 60% throttle and I'm flying at about 70% throttle. Eventually he's going to kick it into full speed and I'm going to kick it into full speed. But for now, this is a nice relaxing flight. Now one thing all of us have not realized is that Andre's father is down in the cornfield looking for the lost plane. But we can't see him because the corn stalks are so high, but we're going to see him in a few minutes. Now the great thing with an FPV drone when chasing a plane in acro mode or manual mode is that you can fly to the side of it or behind it or upside down or anything you wish to do. This is the point where Steve kicks his plane into high gear and he dives to accelerate. I try to dive as well with the DJI FPV. I'm at full throttle, then he's going to go vertical straight up in the air and I'm going to try to chase him. But the battery in my drone runs out of power and I tumble to the ground just in time to see Steve whiz by. I regain control with the little bit of battery power I have remaining and bring it in for a landing. Right after I land, I notice a man walking out of the cornfield and there we have it. Andre's father found Andre's plane. Check this out. This is what it looked like when he found that the plane was under all the corn stalks, low to the ground. Difficult to see with those colors. I'm surprised he even found it. I was looking at the tree line. If I don't find it past so there, Andre's father found the plane. The there it is. But. Nice, good job. Happy ending to the good story. Job, yeah. <laughs> As you can see from the photos, the plane is in rough shape, but it is fixable if you want to buy some spare parts and glue things back together or replace items. The battery was pretty much a total loss as well due to cells that will no longer charge. But you know what? The plane was found and this makes a happy ending to this long story. Hope you enjoyed it.